welcome back to all the mods nine so i was doing some testing on one of my backups just to see how much i could push this thing um and i ended up blowing everything up <laughs> so i rolled back to before i started trying to push this thing to its limit um i'm still trying to learn how effective this thing can be uh without me blowing everything up so I'm just doing some testing, making sure that I am always outputting the nuclear waste, making sure this thing isn't getting damaged, everything like that. So that's what I've been trying. I've been trying to push this as far as I can. It looks like things are good here, I think. Uh, we might be able to push this even further beyond. I don't want to go too, too far. Oh no, it's out of water. Whoop, gram it scram it oh, whoops we can't output enough water it is damaged the heat's coming back down okay Ooh. Ooh -wee. okay so was that a water issue like water being outputted issue it might have been this is input only okay for water this is taking water can it not output enough water oh we almost blew everything up we gotta wait for the damage to go back down Ooh, that was spooky. Y'all seen that? That was really scary. I, was a f I thought I was going to blow everything up again. Can we start it back up while it's damaged? And will it be fine? Oh, no. The water is going down still. Why? Is this not able to output enough water? This is on there. Outputting water. This is outputting... S Ooh. This has way too much steam. Um... Ah, uh, did we overflow this thing? And then that is that what was causing it? The steam buildup, maybe? I don't I don't even know. Yeah, it was way I guess way too much steam. Is that all, all the way emptied now? Okay. Can we now turn this on? No, it's still draining water. It's getting way too much steam. This has air. This has air. It's filling up with water though, just not fast enough interesting well this is full as hell i'm really trying to get an, a better understanding of the system here so let's reduce this back down to 10 like we had this is full of water activate it again no it's getting drained still why is that is this does this need to equalize or something dump excess So we need to stick at the max flow. Okay, maybe that's the problem here. Does that mean that we need more vents and blades? Idle, so this is pumping through all of that. Okay, let's let this die completely. Let's let it kick all the steam out and we will move this to five and see what happens. Okay, we're chilling. Now we have way too much steam. Um, what is... Did I, did I break something? This thing is being wacky. I must have messed something up. I had to have. But I don't know what. So go there. You're good. You're outputting to that. Hmm. What could the problem be here? I am confused. I'm actually genuinely confused. Let's move the burn rate down to one. So this is filling up, but it's not burning. Is it because this is full? Is that why? Is that what it is? I wonder if that's what it is. So let's scram this again. Is it because this ultimate energy cube is full? Um, I have no idea. What's the highest amount of energy we can store in a battery here? Up to 2 billion FE. This is 102 million. So if I make a battery, it'll store even more. Let's see. Power, let's get a battery going. Can I make this? I'm gonna need two nitro capacitors and we'll just go down. Oh, we're gonna need more spirited crystals. Whoops. Well, let's go to our craftables and we will make 16 of these. Which I also learned uh, that we can make these into blocks. Someone did mention that. Um, you can do the block recipes to make these faster. So we might do that in the future. Let's make 
some of these. Hopefully this is going. Yeah, it's it's doing the thing. Slowly but surely. Uh, how's our log looking? Okay. We're going to have to wait for these to be done. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to do the power battery. So we can get the 2 billion FE. That could be cool. Maybe two of those. Two of those. So we have to wait for that to be done. Come on now. Are you working? Crafter is locked. Are you stuck? What'd you get stuck with? Huh? Are you stuck? Oh, it's doing those first. Well, shoot. All right. Well, let's make two of these then. And then we're going to need... We already have those. We already have those and we have those. Okay, so let's make a battery. Then we'll go to the next level. And then we'll go to the next level. And then this level. And then we need to make this, but we're waiting on that. Do that. All right. So now we have the battery. Um, we probably don't want to put it on here. We'll go ahead and make another uh, power energy cell. Oh, if I just make the energy cell, I can just... Oh, okay. Um, did I do that wrong then? Do I just need to make the energy cell? I suppose I do. Okay. Um... Well, good thing I made extra of those, I guess. Alrighty. Let's do power energy again. We're going to need another one of these. Then we're going to need more of these. Oh, I need more blazing crystals. Boom. Boom. Probably going to need even more if I want to get to the level that I want. Damn it. What an endeavor. So I'm going to need eight of these, I think, to get the nitro, right? Yeah, because uh, that's going to be two and then two. Yeah, so I'm going to need eight more of these. Damn it. Dang it. I'm out of stuff again. What a friggin' process. Let's cancel this one. I really probably should just go up here and do the blocks for them. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think that makes more sense. So let's go here and do this. And then we'll do this one like so. And we can't do that one. Okay. I don't think so. So we'll just chuck that in there. Then we want to probably do the pattern grid. Well, let's go get rid of those other patterns real quick. And we'll just do this so we'll replace that with that and then we'll replace that with that this with that and this with that okay so now we can redo these patterns to just take their block instead so we'll do this and we'll just do this place that one then we will replace this one so essentially we're going to do the block first and then we'll tell the system to make these crystals, but instead it'll just charge the blocks. So it'll be less annoying and more quick. All right, let's chuck some shit away. Chuck that away. Okay, that's fine for now. All right, let's go back down here. Nope, give that back. Kidoki power. We need this. So now we need more of these. You can just tell it to do 20 and it should do the blocks instead. Yeah, there we go. It's going to be much less annoying. And then it can do nine at a time. So it's going to be less, less of a handicap of this router pulling so slow. So it'll be faster overall. Should be anyway. Okay, we have those, but we also need to, what do we have, we need the, we need more blazings because we're going to need more niotics. We have one blazing, we have two energy cell hardens, so we need that, and then we need to do this, whoops, not that, next level, 
Energy cell hardened, blazing, there we go. And then we do this and do this, okay? All right, perfect, we have those now. But now we need to craft some more of these. So we'll just do that and it'll craft them out of the, the blocks. We're gonna need to increase these as well. Are you, you're off, right? Okay, you're off, good. Okay, it has to be, it has to be that this cable is full and that this is uh, full as well. How's this filling up? Is this generating power? No, how are the, how's that cable filling up? Where are you getting power from? Oh no, it's storing 2.8 billion power, that's why. So this thing is full of power. And maybe that's why it was getting stuck because the power was full and we weren't using enough power. That must be it. That must be why it was overloading. Well, shoot. That means we need late game storage pow for power and we don't have that because we're nowhere near that. Well, let's just do this. Oh, well, we're going to need to craft some of this. 20 million FE is... Is there a way to get to the creative level? Creative energy cell, creative energy cell. And this needs, it doesn't need the ATM start, does it? Oh, it does. Yep, because you have to make four of these and throw it in here. Then it can store infinite power. Okay, all right. Well, shoot. We. Okay, so we still need to go through with this because I at least want to have somewhere to put this freaking power. We need to craft this. So at least we'll be able to store 2 billion FE. And we'll come over here. Um, I guess put this... I guess we'll put this one here. And this can store power. Receive and extract. So extract out of the top. Uh, it's going. It goes by direction. So this is west. So west, it needs to receive only. Is this getting drained now? Yeah, it is. All right. But this thing is also filling up hella fast. Down, it needs to extract, receive, extract, extract. Okay. So that's one energy cell. And we're going to still be full, though. It can transfer up to 2 million FE per tick. Is there a way to increase that? Can we put this in here for more? No. Damn it. Oh, well. Can the network store power? Can the flux network store power in any way? Uh, yeah, but it's very low. You can store up to 128 million, and that's low. <laughs> wow. Damn. Okay. Um, well, we built this, at least. The limit on this, let's just make it 100 million. All right, yep, that's 100 million. Okay. So, negative one, so this is the priority. It's full, though. This thing is full. This is getting drained slowly. Can we turn this back on now? Will this work now? Okay, it must have been because it was full. It had to have been. All right, we need something that uses a ton of power then. These should be kicking off 24 seven. Ooh, hydrogen chloride's getting low. So this thing isn't getting enough brine. This thing can't output enough brine. You suck. Okay. You freaking suck. Uh. The elite is out. The elite importer is taking enough, but the elite exporter can't keep up with that. So we're going to need to make the ultra exporter. Ding. All right, let's do that then. Since you want to be a punk about it. Fluids, go. And we'll do this. Really, you're that fast. You can't output that fast? Do I need to put... This one down here is fine, right? No, this one's also too slow. That's crazy. Damn. I can't put a stack upgrade on this either. That is nuts. You're really just that slow, huh? An ultra exporter with speed upgrades. Export upgrade. I want to see what this is about, I guess. Um... Do I need a regular exporter? Or do I need to put this like somewhere else in the system? I don't know. Let's uh, let's check. Oh, that's the fluid grid. Can I put it here? Where do you put this? I have no idea. 
We have no glowstone. Oh, that reminds me. We never set up for the witch predictions to get output into glowstone. I for totally forgot about that. So we have we have so much glowstone ready. We just have to go down here to the loot fabricator and tell it to do that. So this one takes that. This one takes the guardian. Let's take that out and we'll do the witch here. So then we can do this. Go ahead. Give us glowstone, baby. And you, I'm just going to go ahead and we can't put that on there. So we'll do a stack upgrade. And this is going to output those. We're going to need another loot fabricator. This thing's going to be too slow. So let's make a couple more. Um, we need an output and input on this. We'll just do this here. So we need importers and exporters. Grab another exporter. We're going to set these up really quickly so these guys can also function as we want to get this glowstone rolling because that's uh, also a bottleneck for us right now with other things that I'm trying to do. So let's do this and we will set these up for witch predictions. So go in here, you do that. Witch prediction, go in here, do that, okay. Uh, maybe we'll do one of these as redstone so we can have us also getting a uh, passive redstone. Yeah, we have a lot, but it's always nice to have more. So we have two going for glowstone and then we'll have one going for redstone. Let's grab a flux. What is it, a flux point? So let's grab a flux point. Let's set this here. We'll do this. And we will set the limit to 10k. Now we'll drop it on to the network. There we go. How much is this using? 256. All right, now we need... Well, that, was, that export upgrade, I don't know what this is used for, but we just wasted a bunch of them. So, so I don't know. Let's make more of these. Now we need to make a couple more stack upgrades. Okay, let's go here. And drop one on here, and then drop another one on here. Bam. There we go. All right, so now we should have... Now we're going to have glowstone in stock, which means hopefully these construction cores stay good to go. The granite is still not coming in very fast. Are we still running out of stone essence? We have 11 stone essence, but it still isn't coming in very fast. Hmm... They get sucked up immediately. I wonder if this thing is getting messed up by that. It's also doing the glass too. So maybe that's what it is. This is trying to keep up where it can. That's good. These are working. Let's just come over here and we'll do this. Maybe this will work better for us. We needed stone essence and another quartz essence, I think. Yeah. This only has a basic capacitor in it too. Okay, it's going to be working. Capacitor. Let me make another basic one. Okay, and now let's take this basic capacitor out. And then we'll do... Oh, we need to make some of these. There we go. I was I was not pressing the right button. I need to press control, but I was not. I was not. Okay, now we can make the upgraded capacitor here. There we go. All right. And now we have glowstone coming in. We have that over here too, right? Holy crap, we have so much glowstone coming in. Is that being stored? Okay, sweet. You can store up to 170 million, so we're good there. Dang, man. That's nuts. Okay, side quest completed. How much power are we at over here? 97, 977. We're still not using a, enough power. Oh, boy. Well, if we want to start working towards the ATM star, we are definitely at a disadvantage. Oh, ruby seeds. Interesting. Let's chuck some stuff and things away. Ruby seeds. These give ruby essence, which is needed for rubies from all the ores. And that goes into Greg Tech stuff. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Well, at least we solved the problem of what the hell was happening. Because I was very confused as to what things were breaking. So, at least we solved that. Uh, now, we need to probably start taking a look at what we need to set up in order to get towards the ATM star. Just because we are towards the, we're getting towards late game power, or what we could consider later game power. But man, look at all this stuff. We're going to have to get into so many different mods. Oh, we also have to get into ME stuff, or AE2, so we'll probably need to do that. 
Do you also have to get into refined storage or just AE2? Just AE2, okay. I want to look towards the power stuff. So what we need to do for power. Master of Reality, what is this? Power related, Eternal Stella related. Okay, which means we are nowhere near any of this, which is totally fine. I am totally cool with that. But we need to be able to get to this. Um, fusion reactor controller. What is this? Fusion reactor can be used to generate millions of RF per tick. So maybe we need to work on the fusion reactor instead of what we just did earlier. Deuterium and tritium. Okay, so we're not near that yet but we definitely need to go that way let's check advanced mechanism so we did this so we did all that uh do we have to unlock here nope that is the end so where does this chapter start do we have to complete the mechanism chapter first ah uh, yeah we need to click that i guess so we need to look at getting into this then do we need, just need to hold sulfur? Yep, okay, we held sulfur in our hand. Oh, now we can click this, and then we can click this button, and then we should be able to go to Mechanism of Advanced. Here we go. Okay, sweet. So we're now we're taking steps in here. So we did that. We have to click the Mechanism Reward. Mechanism Advanced Loot again. Mechanism Advanced Loot. Basic Induction Provider. I don't know what that is. So we collected all those things. Now we need advanced power storage. Okay, here we go. This is probably what we want. We're going to create a customizable multi-block used to store large amounts of power, but first we need to make some lithium dust. Okay, here we go, perfect. All right, sweet. We are now moving towards what we needed to do. Awesome, I am, I'm happy with this. So let's look into the advanced power storage. We need to make lithium dust. You should have some brine. Okay, so we need to make a chemical crystallizer. All right, let's make this. Uh, we're probably gonna expand this out. This will just be like our mechanism area, I suppose. So let's go ahead. Oh man, I'm so excited now. We have a way forward. I was I was getting a little stressed out because uh, I didn't know where to go next. But now I am, I am happy. Can I just set a bunch of this to craft? Oh, I don't have white concrete set up to auto craft. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, go over here. Let's make some patterns for concrete because I'm going to be using this quite a bit. So let's set up a recipe for this and set up a recipe for this. But also we need to set up a recipe to get auto gravel. Uh, that's the only way. Okay, so we're going to have to be stingy then with our dust there. And we need to set up a way to get white dye. So we'll set that up to make that. And then we'll set up, uh, is there a way just to use bones? Okay, here we go. Just bones. There we go. Okay, so now we'll just chuck all of those in there. So the stone essence is going to be the problem now. Yep. We're going to need to make more stone seeds. So let's go ahead and do this really quickly. We're going to need more stone seeds. And then we'll probably go downstairs to that crafter again and turn it off. Even though we just placed it, but that's okay. We're going to need more stone seeds. We probably want another set too. Let's do this first. And then we'll go here and then do this again. Grab that, do this. Okay, do that. Come on, stone siege. Here we go. Now, let's go over here and see where we have our stone seeds at. They're probably, yep, they're right here. Oh, those got put away. Let's grab these and We'll come along here, do that, and where are those other seeds? Where'd they go? Right here. Let's just do that it's there. So these three stone seeds, we're going to go ahead, and now we need to make mystical stuff. So we're going to need more Supremium Essence, which is going to need more of everything else. Okay, let's just go absolutely ham on this. How much do we have? We have 123k. We still don't even have that much honestly let's do this as well so none of it goes into our inventory so it all just goes into the system bam let's go we're gonna need quite a bit so we're just gonna spam this i'm so excited that we figured out that lithium part 
to make a huge amount of power storage because that's honestly going to be our bottleneck for now. Uh, but I think it would be a good idea to just go down here and try to get as many rows on this farm as possible because I do believe that we're probably going to need to expand it as well. Now we need to go to this, go here. Yeah, we're already out of that. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's nuts, man. So now we're going to need to do the growth accelerators. So we're going to need a bunch of these. What? How much is it per? It's three per, right? No, it's four per. So we'll do 24. Do 24 of each of these gems. Now let's craft all of this. Let's grab these cables again and we'll just stack them into one again. Oh, we made more than one stack. Very nice. Okay. And hopefully this one finishes too. Boom, boom. Awesome. Okay, sweet. Now let's go down here and we will set this up. And we'll just do a straight line. Set all of them. Nope, we can do one more. Okay, let's do that then. Maybe we can come down here. One, two, three, four five we'll do six and that awesome we have so much more now hell yeah things are gonna grow it's very good let me check out our granite we should have extra granite hopefully let's check our stone essence we're still gonna run out very fast yeah it's gonna yoink it but hopefully these things will start growing very fast. Especially with those growth accelerators in there. I mean, they look like they're growing pretty fast now. And also we have a few inferiums going on there as well. So that's good. Okay. Let's go to our concrete. And let's tell it to craft 512 concrete. Oh, it's I can't just have it wait on the stone essence. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Um, okay, well, that means we need to go way down here and cancel this. So we'll turn that off from doing that. Take all these back. Check that in there. And available. We're missing seven. Let's just do that then. Craft some more. All right, we have some. So that's good. Let's go over here and increase our little area that we have going on. Are we chunk loaded right here? We need to be all of this, I guess. Well, shoot, more chunks. All right, sweet, we made it to the edge of that. Uh, we still have a bit more, okay. Is that all of it? Uh, we can still fill this area out, okay. All righty. We need to do more mechanism stuff, I guess. Uh, probably with more brine, which this we need more of. Yeah, because this is getting bottlenecked now too. The ultra exporter. There has to be a better, better way to output this, these freaking chemicals besides just making a mega exporter. But we'll see. I'll just make one. And we'll see. Uh, do I have the brine bucket on me? I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this. Let's do this here. So we're gonna do fluids and we'll put this on here. And this still doesn't look like I can keep up, which is very annoying. Is there another upgrade to like speed? Insert upgrade, export upgrade, stack upgrade only. And we can't put that in there. I don't know what these are used for. Anyway, let's check that on there. Are you still not fast enough? Really? Or are we just out of brine? That could also be something. Are we out of brine? We are out of brine. Okay, so it's the we're out of brine. So this thing needs to be faster. Still running out of brine. Hmm. Can I put you to be even faster? Are we at max production? Okay, so do I need to now make this go even higher? The thermal evaporation blocks? Maybe. Well, we found another bottleneck, so that's good. It's always good to find more bottlenecks. We'll do no restriction, and we'll just 
build this thing up. Oh, are you not correct now? Oh, do I need to replace this? Oh, you're just not... Oh, it's because of these three up here. Okay, well, let's make some more then. All right, you're done. What's your max output now? 660 millibuckets? Nah, we're going to need even more than that, baby. So let's go even higher then. Um, we need four more. There we go. Oh, beans. Let's do that. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, we'll do the ult ultimate mechanical pipe here. More bottlenecks must be resolved. There you go. Now you should be producing a ton. And hopefully we're good to go here. Looks like it. But now we need to check this cable because this is probably getting full of brine now. Yeah. Okay, so the brine bottleneck is fixed over here. Which is good. I don't think we needed that mega exporter, but we have one now. So... We're no longer bottlenecked over here. Good on the gunpowder. We have these things outputting. This thing is full of hexafluoride. This is full of hexafluoride. This is full as well. All right. This is not, this is filling up. So eventually these things will slow down once all their cables, cables are full. This is catching up. So that's good. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay. Fluid grid, we are stocking up on so much brine. Good thing we have the infinite fluid storage. Oh, goodness. All right, that's another bottleneck taken care of. Now we have that tall ass thing over here. <laughs> okay, we're good. Let's go, baby. And now this thing can keep pumping. Very, very nice. For mechanism, is there a way to upgrade machines even further than this? Like speed-wise? Ultimate installer? Oh, these are the installers to like upgrade them without picking them up. Got it. And that would hopefully mean that they... That probably means they keep their config. Okay. I believe these are as fast as they can go. We just... We might just need to add more machines. Is there anything I can do with the shards further? No. I was going to see like if you can make them into shard blocks to make them go even faster but it doesn't look like you can how's our chest down here looking full yes goodness all right wow yeah we really need to upgrade this system here this really needs to be much better than it is we'll probably have to add a, another layer of everything on top this is i don't want to remove that exporter though that's okay we shouldn't have to okay this is full this is getting full Oh, we completed that quest because I opened the interface, I guess. Okay, let's uh lower this burn rate. And hopefully this will equalize and it will not get as full. Okay, at least it's slowing down because, yeah, this thing is full as hell. Uh, it is on this network, though, so this is the main one that we're focusing on. All right, this is going. These are going still... It's always good. How much prosperity do we have now? We have 812. Not that much, but it's still something. Okay, let's grab these quests again. Um, we have more quests. Advanced reward. And Tangle Porter. Nice. Induction provider. This one. Steel casing. Okay. Didn't we already do this? Oh, I need to hold yellow cake uranium. Uranium. Observe. Oh, I need to go observe all these machines. Did that do it? Do I need to have a chem- I already had a chemical oxidizer in my hand. Do I need to make another one? Maybe. Yeah, I did. Damn it. That's annoying. Okay. That's complete. I need to have a chemical dissolution chamber and one of these. I just want to get all these quests done. Okay, chemical dissolution. Complete. I need a chemical infuser in my hand. I've made so many of these. And now we need to view this. Okay. And we're done here. Do I need to hold one of these? 
We did all those. Yeah, now we can collect these rewards. Let's go. We got rewards. Now to booting up the reactor. No, now we need to output all these plutonium stuff. And then we get to this point. And this is where the crazy power comes in, right? Freaking laser beams. <laughs> okay. Uh, but before we do that, I want to get over here to advanced power storage. But at least we got all these quests done. We got all the rewards. Observe a completed turbine. So this one. There we go. All right, we're done with that one too. Nice. Sweet. Well, we got a bunch of little rewards. Neat little things. So that's cool. We actually got quite a bit of uranium from that. Damn. What did we need to keep? The crystallizer, right? So we can throw all the rest in there. Yeah, let's throw that in there too. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. So we got that done. Now, well, first let's go to sleep because I don't want to deal with those freaking uglies showing up and getting mad and trying to beat me up. What's up, Cluginton? How you doing, man? Oh, yeah, you good? Tell me how it is. What is it? All right, then. What's up? What good with it? All right, he ain't, he just vibing. He just watching the furnace over here. That's all he doing. A rainbow. Look at that. Oh, it's fading. Goodbye, rainbow. Okie dokie. Now, let's get down to business to make lithium dust. Okay, so we need to make lithium dust, which is going to take the chemical crystallizer. How much space do we need for this? What's the process here? So chemical crystallizer, we need to make lithium and that, oh, it comes from lithium. So gaseous, we need to take brine, I think, right? Is it just brine? How do you get lithium? We need to make lithium, which comes from this, but we need chemical lithium. Hmm. And that comes from lithium dust in a chemical oxidizer lithium ore lithium ore i've never seen lithium ore i don't think chemical oxidizer is lithium decon deconcentrating liquid lithium am i missing something here i must be missing something lithium but lithium comes from lithium dust Huh. Oh, run it through another thermal evaporation plant to get lithium. Then through a chemical crystallizer to get lithium dust. So we're going to need another thermal evaporation plant. So this thing. So thermal evaporation controller. We're going to need a valve and a valve. And what's, what's back here? Do we have anything right here? So three thermal evaporation valves. So we need three of these. All right, and then we need a controller. So let's get a controller. We have the valves and the controllers. Now we need a bunch of these. So let's just make a ton of those. All right, and we're going to have this go over yonder ways. And we'll... Is this the edge of the chunk? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we will put this here. And we'll do a valve there. We'll put the controller here. We're going to need three valves. So we'll put another one back here like that. And to make it all the same, we will put this one here. So each special block is on that one specific side. Okay. So we're going to need another one of these uh, resistive heaters and the thermodynamic pipes right we should have plenty of those let's just grab all these out we should have the yeah there they are okay grab all those special pipes out we have a sink well we probably won't need the sink but we're definitely going to need the resistive heater so let's grab a resistive heater we're going to need an energy tablet and we'll grab this and we will put this back here why is it all buggy on that side with the texture is weird we'll do that oh it's just buggy like that always on that side okay anyway let's go ahead and put this onto here oh it won't go onto that 
Is that the wrong thing? Yeah, thermal evaporation valve, thermal dynamic conductor. Oh, it's because it's not built. I'm silly. So it's not going to even go in. Okay. Now we need to pump brine into here. So we need an exporter. Uh, we probably will take this ultimate one right here or the mega exporter. And we'll just put an ultra onto this. Let's take this, do this, and we'll grab the speed upgrades, chuck them in. Oh, whoops. Do that, and then we'll do that. That should be good, yeah. Hopefully you can keep up. Looks like you will be able to, that's good. Okay, so now we can use this mega exporter, and we'll do that there. Uh-oh. We're going to need a network, network cables. Man, oh man. Can we go? I mean, we can go under if we want to, which we might do. Let me do that here. Oh, whoops. There's an energy cable there. Well, let's do this then. We will make the energy go under what that's going to do, and then we'll clear this out. And then we'll chuck some cables underground coming off of this. Like so. Then we can come over here with this thing. And we'll most likely do it on this side. What are you guys doing under here? It's not safe over here, y'all. There's like radiation and stuff. We're gonna need some more cables, so let's grab some. What do you have on you? Nothing. Get out of my face. This will also allow us to have the network over here if we need to connect anything else. So we have that connected. And now we're gonna tell this thing to output brine whenever it's ready to. Uh, then we need to do this. And our wand will help with this. Whoop, whoops. We need some more of these. Didn't think I was ever going to mess with this system again. With these kind of blocks. Shows you how much I know. So are you online now? No, you're not. What am I missing? Oh, the, the bottom. So I think we have to do the whole bottom for it. I think that whole thing needs to be covered with them. There we go. Okay, so now it has brine and it's making lithium. All right, now we need a flux point again. So let's make a flux point. Um, I don't know how much energy this is going to need. So we'll just tell it 50k. And we'll turn it on. Fill up, baby. And then we'll adjust this to just 5,000 FE. All right, we're making some liquid lithium. Hopefully it doesn't overflow or anything. This is just going to keep getting hot. Will it blow up? Are you going to blow up? I don't know, but I'm afraid you might. Okay, so we have liquid lithium. Now we need a chemical crystallizer. Um... Do we want to store liquid lithium? Do we need to do we need it for anything else? I won't worry about that right now. Uh, but we have liquid lithium. So we're gonna need a mechanical pipe. Come out. It's liquid lithium. So what does li oh why am I on caps? Liquid lithium. What do we do with this? We need to throw it into a decondensator. Okay, so we're going to need a decondensator first. Decondensator. Well, I'm just going to do that. Rotary condensator. Whoops, wrong name. And a tablet. You're going to make this rotary decondensator or rotary condensator. Then it should. Take that chemical in. Do we have to tell it to output like that? Is it going to take it? Oh, okay, there we go. 
Now we're going to need a, probably a cable off of this thing. Maybe we'll go under all of these so we can do that. Or maybe we just do a flux plug on each of these. The plugs may be the better idea. Let's just make a bunch of flux plugs. We're going to need to make some flux blocks. Okay. Uh-oh. Is it plug? Point. Flux point. Damn it. Let's get those confused. Well, we need fl more flux cores. Okay, let's make some points. We have some flux points, baby. We'll just put these under. Uh, just change them all to 10k. I don't know if this is going to need more, so I'll just do 25,000. So this is making lithium, and then we get the crystallizer to make lithium dust. So crystallizing makes sense in that regard. So we'll do that. Then this is going to take input, right? And you are going to output, and we'll turn eject on. What are you doing? Fluids, gas, output. So it's outputting lithium. Now we need to put another point on here. What we could probably do is just point, <coughs> point cable on here. Maybe. How fast does this go? Though, how much can this cable output? Oh, well, we'll just do that for now. So this is making lithium dust. And then lithium dust, what do we do with you? What do you use then? Okay. So I'm going to take four. After it produces this one, I'm going to take that out. All right. Yeah, we're taking our steps. Okay, we got that. Now, we need to build the induction matrix. Okay, so we need to make induction casing. So induction casing, induction ports. Induction casing. We're going to need to make a bunch of these. So, there we go. How much was it? It said 44 and then 2 and then 55 structural class. Well, two of these is going to need four of those, so we're going to need to make another energy cell. Then we're going to need structural glass. We need more steel. Is steel coming through? Well, we have two different types of steel now. Whoops. Are you going on over here? You should be, right? Energized, whatever is going. Yeah, it's going. Okay. So let's just go and tell our system to make a bunch of it then. Just make a shit ton of that please thank you it's gonna bottleneck us let's make some steel dust shall we well it's already gonna do that for us um so let's do this and we will do the thing again where we make our own boom now we'll just chuck this into here steel baby what a steel okay so we need more structural glass. So let's make some more. All right. Next steps. Uh, so next step on here is uh, we already have the ports. What? Did, don't we? Induction. Or did I put them away? I did. Let's grab these. Complete this part. Get a reward. Now. Customizing. Ooh. We can add cells. So we want to do probably the ultimate induction cell then, huh? We need ultimate energy cubes. Well, we're going to need a ton of energy tablets. So let's just spread this around our inventory so none of it gets output. We'll craft a bunch of these. No, oh, we're out of infused alloy. Well, let's make a basic energy cube and make one of these. These can hold 3 billion power. Okay. And these can output. So we need to get probably one ultimate induction provider, at least. And we're going to need... I would like to get it a ultimate induction cell. That would be cool. So let's add the basic ones to our system here. Uh, what's the upgrade take for this? Four of those? Damn. Oh, and we need lithium as well. Okay, um, we need an importer then. Let's make an elite importer. Importer! Oh, that's an exporter too. So we'll do the elite importer and we'll just do it right here. 
we'll come down grab some cable and we will come right here like that there we go and this should hopefully yep there we go it's outputting okay cool uh we need to get some upgrades on these can we do gas on one of these what do you take just speeds so let's do that and then we'll do energy Ooh, you're really fast so let's take you down okay and then for you eight you're only 10 times okay that's fine and you are faster than we need you to be so we'll slow you down because this thing can't even take that fast enough even with it being can the crystallizer be upgraded nope but we can make another one you just make one more chuck it on top now we need a pressurized tube like that oh whoops do that and then tell this for gases to output and that'll output to this but this thing now needs power which we can just put a flux point on on the back right here boom and then put it on the network. Now it has power. Oh, we're going to need more energy upgrades. Whoopsies. Energy upgrades. Okay, that's working. Now we need another importer. And we'll make an elite importer. Boop. There we go. So this thing's full. Can this thing keep up? No, it can't. We need to put one more speed in here. Well, okay. There we go. Oh, that's just going to eat up all of it, huh? Th this pipe here. This pipe's going to eat up all of our lithium. Well, shoot. That means that we probably want to separate this out. So, say goodbye to all that lithium in there. Rip. We'll take this and this and this and this. We're going to split this out. We'll do that. We'll keep the cables here. This is, I don't want to deal with that uh, getting filled up like that. So let's just go ahead and do this. And then we will put the other one here. And then we'll just do the flux points again on the back. And then we'll do an energy cube or energy cable. Tell this 10,000. Go here, select the network. These have power now. And now we can put down the pressurized tube. So the pressurized tube will fit both of these so it can just store all of its excess in there and then it won't just go to one uh, one of the machines and we'll do that and we should be good to go. All right now we can tone you down probably because these can't even yeah you're still going to be producing excess. Can we tone you down even more then? Are you still even? You're still producing extra, but that's fine. You're at a decent speed now, so that is okay. This is fine. We'll have extra lithium going in here. We have the brine getting absolutely decimated over here, which means we probably want to tone this thing down because uh, we, we can't even take in enough. Yeah, we'll just slow this down. It doesn't need to be that fast. All right, now we're getting lithium, so that's good. Now, let's put these cables and stuff away for now. Clean up our inventory. Move towards finishing up this multi-block here. So we can do our own. We can have multiples in here, it looks like. Okay, so it doesn't have to be like the 3x3x3 three by three by three or whatever. So like 3 on top, 3 on the bottom. I don't know how that's going to work. The induction cell is the capacity. This is the output rate. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to need multiple of. Man, we're going to need so many of these. Because I want to, uh, I'd like to get to a high level. This is, I mean, this is still 12, this is 12 billion. That's a lot of power. We're getting into the point where we're messing with really big numbers. I've never gotten this much power, honestly. Um, so... This is new to me. If three of these, maybe we want to get to one big one. So these are the providers, and then this is 819,000. Damn. 
so many we're gonna have to tell this thing to store energy tablets now because we're gonna be using so many of them Jeez. okay so we got to one induction provider that's 800,000 fe per tick is what it can output feasibly we want this to be even higher we want to get up to probably this one or we can just do three induction providers but how does upgrading this thing work right like can we just take a block out and put another block in i don't think it's gonna work like that so i mean we can also just make multiple of them right we start off with a small one and then we just go to a bigger one i don't know um but for now let's fill up our inventory and we're gonna need to make a bunch of these energy tablets again we're gonna run out of uh infused alloy most likely yep so let's make some let's tell the system to make a bunch of infused alloy and we're gonna need to make a bunch of these we're already out of infused alloy again that's a, that's a nuts amount of stuff man jesus these are the capacity ones so we have 18 of these. So I want probably six of the red ones. And then we'll do three of the other red ones, the output ones. That means we're gonna need four, 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 four. So 24 of these. So we have 22. We need more of these already. Damn, that's insane. That's 24 of those. Okay, and now we need to make six of those which are gonna need more energy tablets goodness good thing we have some auto crafting set up so now we can move on to this no oh, whoops not yet we need to grab these basic energy cubes and turn them into advanced oh we need more energy tablets oh goodness this is so many resources goodness okay so we have six of these each of these can hold 25 billion right 25 billion that's so much power goodness it's actually so much holy crap jesus man that's so much oh my gosh so we have five of these so we need three more oh we need more energy tablets good lord yeah we're gonna have to set up auto crafting of those jesus um we need two of these and that means we're gonna need two more of these and then we need to make these and then those there we go we have three and three or six and three so that's one row right that's one row that can go inside of that cube yeah like that <laughs> jesus christ that's insane dude oh my gosh holy cow man Whew. Okay, so we're going to have to make a new network uh, on Flux Networks. So we're going to go onto here and we're going to make a new network. And we're going to create a new network. Um, we're going to call it Output. We're going to change this to Blue. And we will change it to a private network. So Output. We're going to put this on Output. It's going to allow it to transfer. We're going to bypass the limit here. It's going to transfer a dick ton of power. Yep, we're going to have it output a ton of power. Oh, this is actually starting to run out of power. So we can up this now. How are you guys doing over here? Still decaying. That's good. Let's go over here and raise this to two. So this will start producing some power. It's going to start filling up now. That's okay. Because of where we're going to be at. Wow. That's so much. So... Since we have this this on output, so what this is going to allow us to do is output the power directly to our induction uh, casing block thing. Why am I missing an induction casing? There it is. Okay. So let's ponder this. See how it's built. So we just need to build a block like that, a 5x5. Five five. Well, let's do it here and we'll do it in the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Whoopsies. I was trying to be all cool and 
not mine the rest, but I messed it up. So, whoops. Okay, so let's restart then. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. But I messed it up, so. Well, we ran out. Dang it. Okay, so like that. And put some structural glass, I guess, on the bottom here. Do that. Um, and then I think we have the ports here. And we will place them like that. And then we need the configurator to tell one of them to output. And this one will input. So the input one, we want to take the flux point. We're going to put this on here. I'm going to tell it to bypass its limit. I'm going to put it on the output network. So this is going to output stuff. And then we need a plug, one of these, flux plug, and we'll put this on the input network, a wireless power network. I need to rename this to input now. So this is the input network. Okay, and that's gonna output all the power that we have in here. So let's do Oh, whoops. Please don't destroy yourself. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's about to be upset. I'm gonna do this. Since this is how I had it set up. We'll do that. And then do I just need to put glass on here? Multi-block done. Oh my goodness, it can store so much power. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, this has a limit of 2 million FE per tick. So, we don't want that. So we're going to take this away and we're going to also just do this. Um, we'll probably just put a point on here and we'll put this on the, uh, ooh, whoops. I need to swap these things around. So this should be on the output network. This is going to be on the output network as well. I'm confusing myself with names. So we'll go on the output. You will be on the input network. You shouldn't be outputting like that um yep this is on the output and then we will put a plug can we put a plug directly onto this oh we'd have to put it on the turbine valve i'd have to put it on a valve so well all right not that damn it like that actually what i should do is just go to the network Rename this one to output, change the color. And then change, yeah, change this network here to input because everything else is using the other network. So we'll do this, change this one to red. And then we will come right here. We'll change this one back to the number one network. Now we need to come over here and change your network to inputs and then change your network to output, the original network. We'll change this to negative one, so everything should touch this thing first. Input, bypass the limit, and this is negative one. So everything should come to this one first as it gets stored into here. All right, are we chunk loaded here? We are, perfect. So this is already storing a billion power. Uh, good to go there. I think these are also limiting our storage capacity here. So let's take this off and take this one. And we'll come directly to the source and we'll do that. We'll tell that thing to screw off. Take all those away. Okay. And we'll go around and we'll observe um, what we need to do. So this is producing. So we can turn this back up to 10. So this is producing 342k. It's not even holding anything because this is taking in everything and shoving it into our system here which we can hold 153 billion power in that is crazy okay so everything let's go check around everything should be blue now yep this is blue okay yep this is taking blue blue all these should be blue or uh, this should be blue wow yeah these are still producing can this even Oh yeah, it can. Okay, so this is getting output. Should we... We should probably also put another flux point 
over here. Man, we're going to need so many flux cores. We're going to need to put some points on stuff, so we're storing all of our power properly. So we'll take this, and we'll do that. And we'll put this on the input network. Um, so should go... Do we have the thing here? Yeah, we do. Okay. So this is just going to drain all the power from here. All right. Is that going to affect these much? It will. So what we should probably do instead now is take this away and we'll put an energy cable here. So this is going to output here and we need to actually disconnect this from the rest of the power cables down here. So we'll do that. So now all of this should handle all of the cables that are needed over here, which we really, I would really like to replace all of these advanced cables. But so this is now outputting. Wow, it's actually outputting quite a bit. So we're outputting a consistent amount of 55K. We have a buffer on here. Okay. We'll allow this to bypass the limit. So we'll allow this to bypass the limit as well. So it can power this entire network here. What's up, dick? All right. Yeah, so all the power that's getting put into the... Con Where is the quantum entangler porter at? Do we have it over here? Do we have one over here? I think we do, right? Yeah, we have one right there. So how do we want to do this? Um, we'll actually probably remove this. We'll get rid of the entangler porters completely. Okay, this is powering that. And we will come over here and we'll put a point over here instead so instead of that we'll just do a flux point and we will put this on the output network we'll bypass the limit there we go so that's outputting now to all of our systems so this should be maxed oh it's filling up right here it's outputting 114,000 fe so this can't even take in that much at a time okay you're full over here. So this is our home system. So we should be good over here. Uh, I think I put a gate on here anyway. Yeah, I did. I put a flux point there. Okay. All of you are still getting powered, right? Yep. You're all good. What about you guys? You guys power just fine? Perfect. Okay. So a little power restructuring there. Uh, but hell yeah, man. We completed the... What is this called, actually? The... Matrix, the power matrix. Energized induction matrix. We can do 18 by 18 by 18. God damn. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Holy moly. I was going to say we want a buffer just in case like we break it and we want to go into it and, you know, uh, expand it because I actually kind of want to do some expansion on this. But for now, I mean, this thing can hold 153 billion FE. Uh, our only bottleneck right now are these cables. These are our bottlenecks now. But the flux points should handle that. Let's go flux. Are there cables in flux? Are there cables that I can use on here? Is there anything that doesn't have a limit? Hmm. Not that I can see. Interesting. Well, that means we're just going to have plugs everywhere then. Or uh, points. We're going to have points everywhere then. Because... Is that duck still here? Bro... What's up, man? Wah. Well, now that this guy's still here, we definitely have to name him. So, whoever wants to name this guy, let me know. Because he's literally been here for so many episodes. So, I think it's only fair that we name him and we put him in the house with Mr. Cluckington. I think this is a really good spot to stop here. We resolved an issue with getting absolutely destroyed with our power situation. Let's see if we can go up to 12 here. Let's see what happens. We're not running out of fuel. We're producing 411. It says we can go up to 15. Are we going to damage? We're producing 514k per tick. Are we taking any damage? No, we're at our maximum burn rate for the amount of fuel rods that we have. So is that three? Is that three millibuckets per tick per fuel rod? That's what it looks like. Okay, awesome. Well, shoot. How's our nuclear waste coming? We good here? Yes, sweet, awesome, sick, cool. So we're good here. 
These are all decaying fast enough. I know that we're going to have to take the nuclear waste here and turn it into some other items, but for now, I think this is fine. Uh, yeah, man. Wow. We're already producing 514,000 FE per tick. That's really sick. Are we storing any water as well? No, we're not. Awesome. We just have air in there. Sweet. Oh, look at that thing spinning. And we can expand this so much. We're still limited uh, on this, which is absolutely crazy. But man, look at that power generation. Oh, we are getting 536,000 FE per tick. It's absolutely nuts. We are almost at a million power per tick, but we need to get up to like a hundred million. Uh, this is also something brand new that I've never messed with, but now I feel like I can increase the size of these things uh, and we can produce even more power. This is absolutely crazy, man. This is so cool. We did a little restructure on our network, uh, our Flux network, which thank you, thank you. Thanks to the folks that recommended going to Flux Networks. That is such, it's so much better than anything else um, for in regards to sending power everywhere. So thank you for that. But man, isn't that crazy? We're already storing 6.6 billion power. This is the most power I've ever actually gotten up to. So I'm really excited to continue moving forward. We have so much to look forward to. We're nowhere near the ATM star, but now we can start posturing to maybe start working towards it but anyway thank you so much for watching as always i hope you all are doing well and i will see you in the next one goodbye